What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing probably my most requested video, video here on my channel. Uh, this is a look inspired by Jennifer Connelly. Um, not necessarily any one particular look. I guess I did take a lot of inspiration from this one right here. But uh, I just kind of studied her makeup habits or trends. Uh, I kind of looked her up on Google Images of course. and kind of picked my favorite parts of her look and came up with this. So you may notice something about this look. I am not wearing highlight. I am not wearing contour. I'm actually going to show you how you can sort of contour with blush. If you're not somebody who wears contour or bronzer or anything to sculpt the face, you can definitely substitute blush for that. You don't have to contour. You don't have to bronze. You don't have to highlight. In fact, every picture that I saw of her, it looked as if she did not have any kind of bronzer or contour on or any kind of sculpting product. Not that they didn't have those back when she was doing red carpet events like in the 90s and the early 2000s or whatever. It's just that she didn't really kind of abide by those rules, it seems like. And I thought that was pretty cool when I started looking up pictures of makeup of her. I was like, well, that's actually right up my alley. And I learned something new today because I've never really, like if I ever wear blush on its own, I will just wear blush in its normal placement. And it, I was almost like, ooh, why did I skip the bronzer today? Well, probably shouldn't have. But when I did this look and I figured out how she had her blush placed to where it almost looked as if her face was sculpted, I was like, dang, okay, maybe I'll do this from now on. But anyway, um, I hope you all like this video. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, I'm gonna start with the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation. This is in the lightest shade, I think it's called Snow. It's just really yellow, but that's okay because she has a pretty warm skin tone, so I'm cool with how yellow this foundation is. And you know, I only have like three foundations, so yeah, this just seemed the most appropriate. Pretty full coverage, but I'm just gonna make sure it's even and you know, not overly crazy and get the foundation off my lips, of course. Gotta do that, can't skip that step. Then I'm gonna go in with a Too Faced Born This Way multi coverage sculpt use concealer, something like that. And I'm using the shade Snow. And instead of using it to highlight like I normally would, where I kind of go up on my cheekbones really high and, you know, just highlight all the parts of my face heavily with the concealer, I'm instead just gonna take this concealer brush and I'm gonna brighten up the areas that need to be brightened up and leave it at that. And notice that celebrities don't often do the on-trend highlight that a lot of us like to do on a daily basis. And they just try to keep it as natural as possible. So that is exactly what I'm doing with what I have. Of course, if I had a lighter coverage concealer, I would probably use that instead, but this is literally the only concealer I own. And therefore, I'm just gonna make do with what I have and cover the places I think I need to cover. I'm actually going to take that down on my jawline here and cover up the redness there because the last thing I want is for my blush that I'm going to contour slash bronze with to mix in with the redness on the bottom of my cheek because then it will not look as intentional. So I just want to make sure I cover that up and highlight the rest of the areas of my face that I would normally highlight just to a lesser extent. Then I'm gonna go in with a powder that's pretty close to my skin tone. It's not translucent or anything. I definitely have some tint to it because I wanna take down and tone down that brightness of that concealer there. So I'm just gonna set where I put the concealer, not my entire face. Then I'm gonna go in with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. This is in the shade Diffuse Light and I'm gonna dust that lightly all over my face. I'm not necessarily trying to brighten my face with it, but it just gives a more satin finish and I want a more natural finish with this look as opposed to matte or dewy or overly highlighted. Then for the blush slash bronzer contour here, I'm gonna build it up slowly, but I'm gonna put it lower than I would normally put blush because I'm using it to contour, of course, so I'm gonna put it down low right there into my cheek socket, not bringing it up too high because I don't want it to look like blush as well, but I'm gonna put some on my temple and blend that out right there at, in kind of like a bronzer placement is what we're going for here. And then I'm gonna put a little bit on the inner part of my jawline because that to me makes it look more natural. 
Then I'm gonna go into the Noctex Future Grunge Palette and I'm gonna use that cool tone taupe shade and I'm gonna put that right there in my eye socket. I'm using this dense brush. It's a little bit fluffy, not too much. It's the Real Techniques Essential Crease Brush. And the goal here is to just make sure I keep it beneath my brow bone. It's not gonna be super messy, but at the same time, she doesn't seem to wear a lot of really diffused, blown out, smoky eyes that go you know, up onto her brow bone. So I'm gonna keep that isolated to my eye socket here. Then we go into the Perception palette and take this warm, dark brown shade, and I'm taking this little eyeliner brush by Real Techniques. I'm gonna put that right up close to my waterline, not in my waterline, of course, but I am just outlining the lower lash line here without blowing it out and making it too diffused, if you will. I just wanna make sure I get close to my lashes, especially on the top here. I'm gonna dig that right into my lash line before I blend it out a little bit but it's definitely not gonna give that really smoky effect. I am, however, gonna take this Real Technique shading brush that's somewhat fluffy and dense, and I'm gonna blend that upper lash line out just to make sure it, but it stays darker toward the lashes and fades a little bit as it goes up. and just blend it together, that bottom lash line. Don't blend it down, just blend it all together and make sure we got a seamless line there. Then for the brows, here we go. I'm gonna use a warm brown shade or like a neutral brown shade for my brows because it tends to bring out the brownness of my hair. My hair is naturally really dark brown, but I have dyed it black before and it's, tending, it's starting to fade. But if I go lighter on my brows, it just brings out that brown a little more. Now for my brows here, I'm gonna fill them in pretty heavily. I'm not gonna be shy about it. I am also gonna bring it all the way to the inner part of my brow. Now, usually I will go light-handed on my inner brow because it just looks more natural to me, but because she has such really fluffy brows and full brows, I'm not really gonna hold back here. I am gonna straighten my brow shape a bit, but as you can see, I'm going right there on the inner part of my brow and I'm just going for it. I just don't even care. She's got full brows. That's what I'm gonna do. Then I'm gonna take this NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. This is in the shade Black, but I wanna make sure I coat all of my, la my, my lashes. I just wanna make sure I coat all of my brow hairs here. It looks more brown in person, the, brown, the brow gel does. So I'm gonna coat all of my brows. I will go back and clean it up where I've you know made a mess here, but as long as I coat my brows with it, it also you know, cools down that warm brown that I went in with, and that's what I have so far before I clean up my mess. Then I'm gonna take the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, on the other hand, and I'm gonna use that to make sure that those brow hairs stay in place and stay, you know, stuck up, like upright, as opposed to, you know, flattening back down because the NYX Brow Gel does a good job of tinting them, not such a good job of holding them in place, so that's why I'm using the Anastasia then I'm gonna go in with this concealer brush and I'm just gonna clean up all those little baby hairs that got caught up in the tinted brow mascara. And I'm gonna keep cleaning those up until I've gotten them to the point where I don't think that they're not that noticeable. Before I go back in with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel just to make sure all those hairs are upright once again. That's my best attempt at a Jennifer Connelly brow there. I don't care if it's not perfect, it looks okay from a distance. So then I'm gonna go in with mascara, of course. It really just seems like I needed some eyeliner on my waterline, so I'm kinda going through and touching up all the mistakes I made. I'm gonna put a little bit on the outer corner of my upper lash line and then blend that out with a pencil brush. And yes, I will clean up my mess, but I just wanna make sure I get that shape right. So I'm reshaping my eyeshadow here. Putting a little bit of a wing, not too much smudging it out until I'm happy with that shape there. And I'm not putting anything on my waterline. And then I'm doing lipstick. Now this is NYX's Euro Trash, which I really love, and for some reason I thought this would be the perfect shade. But as it turns out, it just wasn't really what I was going for, but I wanted you all to see how it looks, because it actually looks pretty good with this look, and I do like this lipstick. So there's what that looks like. Pretty, pretty good, pretty good. Then I'm gonna change it. So here's where I'm switching the lipstick out. I'm using a more cool toned, slightly neutral, light pink shade. And there is that, I'm gonna blot it. Ah, the lost art of blotting. Here we go. 
Then I'm gonna take it a little bit further and basically just gonna wipe off most of it because it was just too much lipstick and hers is very sheer. Then I'm gonna take this gold flecked lip gloss and I'm gonna put it over top of that and I think that really gives me the look that I'm going for and the one that she's kind of known for and I really love the way it looks. And that is the finished look and as close as I will ever look to Jennifer Connelly. Thank you very much. Good night. All right, y'all, I hope you like this video. Please leave in the comments what else you'd like to see from me. I'm kind of busy thumbing through my backlog of requests. So this being the first one, obviously, because it is the most requested. Um, I've definitely got a whole lot of others in mind. I'm just trying to figure out what to do next, how I can pull them off, et cetera, et cetera. Just leave in the comments if you all have any more ideas for me, and um, that would be great. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I might have already said that, can't remember. If you want to subscribe to my channel, please do so on your way out. If you'd like to uh, support me on Patreon, I will also link that in the description box as well as at the end of the video. That would be amazing. Um, my Instagram, Twitter, going to link those too. Lower your expectations. You know what I always say. I will see you all in my next video. Later.